guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books and Tim here with a book haul. It's mostly a birthday book haul. My birthday was August 1st. I turned the big 3-0. I am 30 now and I have a lot of stuff to show you. There are book boxes, there are stuff from authors, there's stuff I've bought. So I will get to the haul, but first I would love to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Melanie Harlow. I did talk about this book in my initial video talking about August releases, so I'm so excited to do a sponsored video with Melanie Harlow because this book is a bodyguard romance and I love a good bodyguard romance. I am obsessed with bodyguard romances. Just something about the forced proximity is so good and the forbidden nature is so good. The heroine in this one is like a country music sensation and she just wants a break. She wants to get away so she goes to a cabin. Her family's very overprotective so they're like you're not going alone. So she has to take her bodyguard with her and he is a tall dark and bearded bodyguard. We love a bearded hero. He is a former Navy SEAL and there is only one bed in the cabin so he has to sleep on the couch. She can't go any without him even when she goes on her morning jog he follows her he gets really upset when she posts on her social media thinking that it's not safe and so he says if you do anything wrong kiss this vacation goodbye instead she kisses him and they start falling for each other of course they have completely different lives and really can they make it work in the real world and i love a romance where they fall in love in such different circumstances and then have to face reality and see if it'll work or not so make sure you check out hideaway heart by melanie harlow bodyguard romance forced proximity so many things that i love in a romance you have to check it out and thank you so much to melanie harlow for sponsoring this video the first thing i do want to haul is my new sweatshirt so this was a birthday present from a friend it is a taylor swift sweatshirt and it has Taylor Swift's albums as books. I'm obsessed. I love it. I also got a bunch of other goodies from friends, so I did have friends send me a couple puzzles. I'm not hauling them in here. I should do a video, though, on my puzzle collection. That would be really cool. Let me know if you want that, but I have a lot here from my amazing friends that I'm so thankful to have. So the first one actually came like 10 minutes before I sat down to film this video, and that is The Crush by Carla Sorensen. This is from Victoria from Victoria's Romance Reads. Thank you so much, Victoria. This one is, I don't know which in the series this one is, but it's part of the series. I haven't started it yet, but I really want to. I think it's The Plan and The Lie. So now I have The Crush, so I have three of them in the series, and I'm very excited. Obviously, it's about her having a crush on someone, and <laughs> she was friend-zoned from the start, and he got drafted to the NFL, moved across the country, and she moved on to someone else, got her heart broken, and then he is on her doorstep claiming he never forgot about her and he's not looking at her like they're just friends. Oh, but she's like, oh, football always came first to him. Will he actually be serious this time? Very excited for this. Thank you, Victoria, for sending this my way. Then Zay from Witty Reads sent me Pucking Around by Emily Rath. I love this book, and it's so chunky, and I'm obsessed, and I really wanted this edition. I did order the special edition from Emily Rath from Steamy Lit, but this one is the regular edition, and it's a Why Choose Hockey romance, and it's so good. It is one of the best developed Why Choose romances I've read. I'm obsessed with everything about it. It's hockey. She's with two hockey players and the manager, like, equipment manager of the team. So good. It's very long. I read it on my Kindle, but I'm very happy to have this in my collection. Then Elle from Red Over Heels with Elle got me Meet Your Match by Candy Steiner. I needed the person edition on my shelves. I have all of her books in the like guy edition and those are my favorites from her. So this one, I love the colors and I just really love the hockey player on the cover. I feel like I just don't have a complete candy collection without her guys on the covers. So this one is a hockey romance that I really loved. And I've been trying to now add books that I just really love to my Amazon wish list so that I have them and they're books that I really love instead of buying books before reading them. So this one, she has a social media account where she is working on a podcast and she has to follow him around and post to their social media account. And he's a hotshot hockey player and it's forced proximity. They start falling for each other. I love a good hockey romance if you can't tell. So love this one. And then Tiara, from Tiara Reads Books on Instagram got me this edition of Savage Lover. I'm trying to collect these. I do have the first two and I think they're slowly like coming out in these covers and these are also like illustrated editions too. They're so so pretty so I'm so excited to have more for my Sophie Lark collection. I have the originals. Obviously I want her new ones. They are so pretty and thank you so much Tiara for sending this my way. Then QB Tyler did send me The Coldest Winter by Britney C. Cherry. This was on my wish list because this one I haven't read yet but it's Britney C. Cherry and I love everything she writes and this one is her winter uh, emotional one. It's not Holidays, which I have not read yet. I think that's the title. I haven't read her, yeah, the Holidays I have right here. I have uh, my Britney C. Cherry books just in the corner of the frame. But this one is a forbidden romance and, oh, it's a student teacher romance. Okay, so they hooked up and parted ways and now they realize that they are a forbidden romance. 
Love a Good Forbidden Romance. Love Britney C. Cherry. She wrote uh, Wanting Mr. Daniels, too, which is another student-teacher romance. So we'll see how this goes, but... Thank you, Kiwi Tyler. Then Tori from Novel Life did send me a 2,000 piece puzzle, which I didn't realize was 2,000 pieces when I put out my wish list, but I'm excited. I love a good challenge when it comes to a puzzle, so it was a Disney puzzle and it's so cute. She also sent me the book by Jay Bree, which is The Crown of Oaths and Curses. I read The Scepter, which was a novella before this, and I really, really liked it, and I'm excited for a fantasy from Jay Bree. I just am not a fan of the Bonds That Tie series, so I read, I think, two books in that series and DNF the series, but I'm excited for this. If anything, I think the romance is going to be really good based on how it was set up, so we'll see how it goes. Then Cheryl. I love Cheryl so much. She is my lounge fly Disney buddy. She sent me the Shanora Williams book. It is Venom and Ecstasy. I'm actually really excited because I read Passion and Venom, which I have in this deck somewhere, and I loved it. It's a dark romance where he kidnaps her and, like, kills her fiancé and kidnaps her, and so it's mafia, and I'm, I really love how short these are, but I'm doing a readathon with my Patreon next month, well, this month, at the end of this month, and we are focusing on finishing series, so this one is going to be on my TBR, which I'm so excited for. I do readathons with them for our weekend every other month, so it is our readathon weekend month, and I'm very excited. So if you're interested at all in that, my Patreon is always linked down below, but thank you so much, Cheryl, for sending this to me. I'm so excited to read it. Then Christy sent me the book from Willow Astor, which is Someday. I really need to read this series. I think I have two in the series already, and I need to read this one. They're somewhere on my shelves. I don't remember where they are. Um, um, somewhere, but I have been meaning to read the series because it looks so good and this one is the newest one. It's Childhood Best Friends to High School Sweethearts to Second Chance, I'm assuming? Literally my favorite trope, so I cannot wait to read this. Then Sam from Sam Reads Little sent me Done and Dusted, which I'm so, so excited to read. This is a cowboy romance small town, and my friend Sarah told me there is a National Treasure reference in here, which is like obviously why I have to read it because I love National Treasure. I literally watched it on my birthday with my sister. We hadn't seen it in a while. We're like, let's just put on National Treasure. We wanted to watch The Mummy, but we couldn't find it streaming for free. You had to pay it for it or rent it, and we're just like, that's annoying. So we ended up buying the DVD because we thought we had the DVD, but apparently it's at my parents' house and it's their copy. So so we bought a DVD of The Mummy so we could watch it anytime we wanted to. But besides the point, I'm really excited to read this one. Then Cheyenne sent me the first one, which is Passion of Venom. This one I loved and I read on Cheyenne's recommendation. Thank you so much to Cheyenne for sending this to me. I loved it. Like I said, it's dark. He kidnaps her after killing her fiance. They're going to fall in love. He's very touch her and you die, like very touch her and you die. And I loved it. And there's a cliffhanger at the end. So can always read book two, but I'm glad to have book one in my collection. Then Verna sent me the alternate cover of Reckless, which I'm so excited. This is so, so cute. Like, look at the baby boot. Look at the baby boot. This is a surprise pregnancy. One of my favorites in the series. It might be my favorite in the series. I don't know. And it's Theo's book in winter. And I just love them so, so much. And I do have the people cover. I bought that myself, but I really wanted to add this to my beautiful collection over here, which is always over here. We have flawless, heartless, powerless, and now book four, which it's just so good. And I had to get these before the covers changed because she was picked up traditionally. So grab your covers before they go out. Okay, this one is from Avery, and she got me the Bloom copy of The Rebel King. I have to have every edition of my favorite books from Kennedy Ryan. So thank you so much to Avery for sending this to me. You are the sweetest. I'm pretty sure those are all the gifts that were sent my way. So now I have a lovely package I got from Berkeley Romance. So I got My Roommate is a Vampire, which I'm assuming is a debut romantic comedy that is paranormal, possibly. Sounds fun. I really like that cover, though. It's actually really cute. I like that. And then I was sent The Love Plot by Samantha Young. I talked about this as well in my romances that I can't wait coming out in August. I actually talked about both of these in that video. I didn't realize this one was actually a Berkeley romance. Um, this one is a heroin. Oh, they have to fake date. He's a veterinarian and his family keeps on nagging him and he keeps on running into her. He finds her kind of obnoxious because she's all about freedom and happy-go-lucky and they obviously fall in love. So I'm very excited for a new one from Samantha Young, though I'm dying for her next book and her new series. I need it now, but it doesn't come out until like December. Then we have With Love from Cold World, and I'm pretty sure they both work at Cold World, which is like a amusement park that is all about Christmas and winter in Florida, and they think they have to like go against each other and like compete, and they fall in love. I did not realize it was this thick though. Oh my goodness. Why is this 370 pages? But exciting. And then I did get a copy of Thrive. I am getting all of these as they come out. I... I think I put them over there actually behind me. I need to read these. Guess what? This is the one I'm on. Maybe it's going to be a motivation to continue the series. I only got halfway through and then I stopped because I 
I like to savor series and never finish them because I know I can go back to reading them. I also got Mixed Signals by BK Boris and I love this series so much. I love her. This is the new one from Berkeley. Yes, I'm talking about Berkeley romances and they're sure she published now and I'm so excited for them all to be out and for her I cannot wait for her new one as well because she wrote four of them on the four different seasons and so this was summer so we have fall left which I'm very excited for I think I think that's right. We have a season left. I don't remember what it is. I also got In Charm's Way by Lana Harper. I am so ready for all the paranormal romances. I have been so over summer since July 1st. So this one says, a witch struggling to regain what she has lost, casts a forbidden spell, and discovers more than she expected. What, what is the romance? A mysterious stranger appears in the nick of time to save her soul. So... Sounds fun. And this one's actually really short. So yay for short romances. Then I got some things for my favorite authors. So Laura Pavlov sent me a gorgeous, gorgeous box. And look, her letter came on like this really cute like wedding invitation plaque. I'm obsessed. And then she sent me both copies of On the Shore. And this one is a hate to love football player reporter romance, small town. And it was really good. So I'm excited to have these on my shelves. Put them all nice and pretty. The package was really fun. I also got a really fun package from Katherine Cowles with Glimmers of You. She sent me this one in the hardback, but I did not grab the hardback. It's over there. This one is a foiled copy. So, so pretty. This one is a kind of second chance romance with her brother's best friend. It's hate to love, fake dating, small town, romantic suspense, everything I love in a romance. Then for Hello Lovely's trope box, I think I have a couple from them actually in this haul. So their latest one was Not So Lucky by Trilina Pucci. We have this really fun illustrated cover, which I really love. This one is a Married in Vegas romance very very cute I like that and then I have Bell book box which I got this for free because I am a rep I'm also a rep for hello lovely all my rep codes are always in the link down below my code for this one for 10% off is peace love books I think that Jennifer Hartman is our next author too which I'm very excited for so these were Penny Reed and also Harlow Ray and this is probably one of my favorite color combinations this is so stunning and I love the sprayed edges their sprayed edges are always so pretty so this is mine for yours and then we have Penny Reads, which I love these sprayed edges. They always have really cool designs for their sprayed edges. And this one has also a print that like it's a like an overlay, I think. So I don't know like where in the book this should go, just like on a random page so that you put it on and it's like that in the book and it looks so cute this is 10 trends to seduce your best friend so this one's really pretty too they always have the cutest design to their books then from the author i was sent a soul of ash and blood which i need to read i am caught up on this series but i'm not caught up on the prequel series but i have to have time to read this i don't think my sister's even read it is my sister caught up i always have her read it before me 600 pages this is a fantasy romance need to read it absolutely then i don't know where i already put my finished copy away forget me not by julie soto one of my favorite books of the year this is a second chance forced proximity brooding tattooed hero damaged hero they dated in the past and you get past and present audiobook was amazing she's a wedding planner he's a florist and she is trying to make it big gets her first huge high-end client has to work with him and it is so good. It is so, so good. I was obsessed. Obsessed. I just posted an Instagram today about it because I was obsessed. So, so good. Then I was sent a physical arc of Cleat Q by Meryl Wilsner. I've actually already read this. It is a sapphic soccer romance. I'm a huge soccer fan. I am living for the World Cup right now, even though that last game with the U.S., I don't want to talk about it, which was the one against, um, who did they play? Portugal? It is not the one that's going to be right before this video. This video is coming out Monday, so they have not played Sweden yet. I'm very terrified, but I love all the relationships that happen in women's soccer. Like, I am such a fangirl over them, and so I was so excited for this book. I didn't love it as much as I wanted to, but I asked Samantha from Books with Samantha if she wanted my copy because she loves sapphic romances, so I am handing this off to her since I've already read it. So I hope that she loves it, but check it out if it sounds interesting to you. They are teammates, and it is really cute. I gave it, like, three and a half stars. I just was I think I put it on a pedestal, and I was, like, expecting so much in my mind that I, it just didn't live up to the hype I made, but... It's a cute cover. I love a good soccer sapphic romance. Then the author sent me a shout out by Avery Keelan. This one is the second one to, oh my gosh, what was the first one called? Now I don't remember. You guys know. I've read the first one. It's very popular, but this one is a, ooh, she's forced to move in with her older brother and two of his hockey roommates, and she has to live with all of them, and her new roommate is a tall tattooed stranger from her one night stand on Halloween. 
this sounds so good I'm very excited to read it so thank you so much to Avery Keelan for sending that to me then Megan Quinn did send me the way I hate him this one is a brother's enemy romance and she's trying to get revenge on an ex by stealing something from him but he stole it from this hero and the hero then thinks that she stole it from him since she had it and he's like I can turn you into the cops or you can work it off for me so then she has to work it off for him and she hates him sounds really fun I'm excited it is like killing it in the Kindle store right now it's like number five or something so I'm excited to read that then I was sent one touch by Lena Hendricks from the author obviously you guys know I love this one I have not stopped talking about it it is small town hate to love brother's best friend forced proximity he is helping renovate her grandmother's house and she's kind of like putting it all on social media very cute very fun love this one I'm okay I haven't read like a decent amount but I've read more than I usually have of the ones that I'm hauling because the next one I've read too which is reckless by Elsie Silver this one I bought myself like I said this is the people cover had to add it to my collection obviously I also added this one to my TBR for August it's we could be so good by Kat Sebastian I saw this sitting on the shelves at an independent bookstore I visited and I was like Kat Sebastian has a new book and why does it look so good Kat Sebastian typically writes historical romances this is technically historical but it is in the 1950s and it is about two men who work at a newspaper together one of them his father owns it the other one I think just works for the newspaper falling in love and it sounds so good and I had some friends rate it very highly on Goodreads so obviously I had to buy it and hopefully I can read it in August. I also pre-ordered Still Beating. This is the Bloom version. Had to pre-order it from Barnes & Noble when they had the pre-order sale, so it came. It's pretty. I cannot wait to add it. It is my fifth copy of this book. But I need to collect them all. Then the Hello Lovely Trump of the Month box was Love, Shove in New York by N.M. Patel. I really enjoy this author on Instagram. And this one is, sounds cute. I just love the cover though. This is about our heroine who decides to go to New York. She wants to pursue her master's degree. And she sits next to her classmate who is a very white American boy. And she starts falling for him. And her family does not approve. And it sounds very cute. Then I was sent a finished copy of In the Weeds by B.K. Borison. This one is my favorite. It. I'm obsessed with Beckett. This one is a small town romance and it is kind of a second chance romance because they had one night stand. She's an influencer wanting a break. It's so good but very excited to have this one as well to add to my collection. Then I have the last chapter box that Tanya did with last chapter. Tanya is on Instagram and TikTok and she had this box. I obviously had to get it because she has the best taste and we have Quarterback Sneak by Candy Steiner which is very pretty and then this is why I bought it. It had QB Tyler and it's one of my favorite books by QB Tyler so obviously it was what was meant to be we have like the ripped up wedding invitation on here and wedding rings on the back and I'm obsessed and then we have the architect by Nikki Sloan which I didn't realize was this thick this is the only one in the series I haven't read yet so I have to fix that I don't know if this is Polly Maybe I'm making that up. And then I have Ache by Marley Valentine. I just read Marley Valentine's newest MM romance. Amazing. So I'm excited to read this one as well. And this one's very pretty. So all the books are very pretty. Had to have that in my collection. Then let's go ahead and go to this stack maybe. So we have a bunch of used historicals and a new one. So I did pre-order The Notorious Lord Knightley by Lorraine Heath. Completely forgot this came out. I need to read it. It's book two to her Chessman series. And I need to read it because, hello, it's it's Lorraine Heath. And then my friend Tabitha sent me a signed copy of Something Wonderful by Judith McNaught. I have this, but this is signed, and Judith McNaught has sadly passed, so she sent it my way. So thank you so much, Tabitha, for sending this to me. My mom also got me two. Well, I think the rest of the stack is for my mom. My mom helps with friends of the library at the library by our house, and she is always, like, pulling things to send me because they, like, organize books and put them in their book room that, like, they used to sell books. So she did get Darling Jasmine by Bertrand Small because she knows we are reading one for my book club and she thought the cover was pretty and then she also got this one because she thought the step back was funny and it's also Scottish so this is Child of Awe with this step back and it's got the Scottish castle in the background and then she did get three romantic suspense she thought I would like that she's always excited she's like look what I got she's like do you want any and I'm like sure sure I'll take some so we have point last scene this I think I took like three out of the five she had oh it's amnesia this one's amnesia that's why she got bought it because she knows I love amnesia and then we have wrong alibi by Christina Dodd and then a cat Martin so these are actually all historical romance authors that now only write romantic suspense so this one is an Alaska one that's why I really wanted to get that one and then we have the perfect murder which is a ceo of a billion dollar oil company and it's in texas oh so his lover is kenzie and her ex-husband now is dead and she's accused of the murder so sounds a little messy and i'm excited to read that 
Then I have some that Berkeley sent me, and I'm excited. We have Barbarian's Mate by Ruby Dixon. This is another Ice Planet Barbarian's romance that I wanted to have. We have Business or Pleasure by Rachel and Solomon. I really enjoyed the X talk, so this one is a ghostwriter and a struggling actor help each other on page and in the bedroom. So this sounds fun. I like her romances. We have To Have and To Heist by Sarah Desai. <laughs> she has to mastermind a jewelry heist during the wedding of the season, and it's a romantic conversation comedy. I don't think I've ever read anything like that. So that sounds fun. I also love the color scheme of that. Then I've seen this a lot around. It's You with a View by Jessica Joyce. This is two former high school enemies reunite for a road trip and it's because of their grandparents broken engagement. It's a debut romance too so I would love to read this and I just think the cover is cute too. And then the last one I have is Every Duke Has His Day by Suzanne Enoch. We went from having the best clinch covers to some interesting illustrated covers, but I do like the color scheme of this one. And it's also in trade paperback now instead of mass market. This is a fresh take on the classic Bringing Up Baby, which is like a very classic movie. And it says it's a rom-com. And he's a duke, it says he's eccentric. And Bitsy is our heroine. Oh, someone accidentally kidnaps his dog instead of hers, so now they have to find it. That sounds messy, but fun, maybe. I usually don't read rom-com historicals, so we'll see how it goes. Then I have my Dark and Corky box. So this one I paid for myself. I am a rep for them, but I did pay for this box. So we have Ledge by Stacey McEwen. I read this and I thought it was okay, but look how pretty those sprayed edges are and that cover is. And then we have Hold Me To Day by Maria Luis. This one is pretty as well. The next one I'm obsessed with, it's Wrath by Ellis James, but look how cool that is. It is a football romance. So, so cool. It's a very long football romance, but I really love the cover. I need to take the the covering off. And then I have Three Count by Nikki Castle, which I love. This is really why I wanted the box. Look how pretty. So, so pretty. And all of them have metallic sprayed edges. So I love that. And then we have the last stack. So I do have six books that Jay Sterling sent my way. I'm very excited for these. They are all baseball romances. She's most known for The Perfect Game, but I think I have the spinoff on audio through my library. So I did download the ninth inning, but they're all baseball romances that I'm very excited to get to. Forever Romance is amazing. They sent me an arc of Snowden for Christmas, and this one is a Snowden romance, and they got Snowden together. And it's interesting though because she is a sorority mom and I think he's the football coach uh, at a college. So it sounds fun. Obsessed with the cover. I'm all in for Christmas romances right now. Like if I could download my Hallmark streaming app again and just watch Christmas movies for the rest of the month, I would be happy. I was also sent Marry Me by Midnight, which is a historical romance. I think that the two main characters are Jewish, so this one says that she needs help to save her father's business from the wicked brothers, and she needs a powerful husband quickly, so she's going to host a series of festivals and invite every eligible Jewish man, and he is the synagogue custodian, and she presents him with an offer, uncover her her secrets and she'll provide him with enough money to start the family he's always wanted and then they're gonna fall for each other. I love a good class difference romance so this one sounds really good. I can't wait to read that one. I was also from Bloom sent Brutal Prince so they are publishing these and it came with a really cute art print as well and I love Brutal Prince. I'm excited for Sophie to be picked up by the publisher. From the author I was sent Meet Your Match by Candy Steiner. This one is one I have already hauled. <laughs> I hauled the person cover which I really wanted. She sent me this edition which I prefer the people cover so that's why I wanted that on my collection as well but she sent me a little influencer package which was super sweet with some Lila June cards and some stickers and some bookmarks. Then Amanda from Romance Read Amanda sent me Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young. This one is a really adorable accidental pregnancy romance. I'm so excited to add to my collection. I have next to you sitting right there so I can put it with my other favorite Hannah Bonham Young book. I was also sent Minx from Sophie Lark, and this is her new book that I'm very intrigued by. Um, I don't know much about it. I just think like she's really rich. I think it might take place at a sex club. I don't know much about this one, but I am excited for a new one from Sophie. Okay, I have four left. So the next three were sent me from Desiree for my birthday. I don't know how they got on the bottom of here, but we have For the Fans by Nyla Kay, which I'm so excited to read. This is a stepbrother romance, and it sounds really good. So obviously I want to read it. And then I was sent this one, which she sent me because she wants me to read it. She's obsessed with it, and it is Unnatural by Alessandra Hazard. So this one is ooh, a planet at war 
are two alphas forced into political marriage and it says attraction that defies all reason and logic. I think it's a an alien romance, but She's like, I can't stop thinking about it. You have to read it. And then the last one she sent me is Hail Mary by Candy Signer. This one I think is my favorite of the series. So I'm very excited to have this on my shelves. This one is a roommate's hate to love romance. It's kind of a second chance. It's so good. Then from the author, I was sent Cruel Summer from Morgan Elizabeth. This one is book two. It's Mean Girls Inspired, Age Gap, Grump Sunshine, Good Girl, Spicy Rom-Com. And she falls for a bartender who works across the street. So I need to read more of Morgan Elizabeth because I really loved Tis the Season for Revenge. And then Morgan from Nothing Better Than the Book is a Eternal Embers subscriber. So she went ahead and signed up to get this box and I, then I paid her for it. So thank you to Morgan for getting this in my hands. It is Tristix Venom. Look how pretty. It is stunning and I love the box too. It is by Penelope Douglas. It's so good, so pretty, and I'm so, so happy that I have this in my collection. And those are all the books that I've hauled in the past, like, month and a half. And for my birthday, thank you so, so much to everybody who sent me something. And like I said, I did get a couple puzzles from people. So if you're one of them, thank you for sending that my way, too. And that is everything I have. Make sure that you check out Hideaway Heart by Melody Harlow. Thank you so much again to her for sponsoring this video. If you want a bodyguard romance that is taking place in a tiny cabin where there's forced proximity and it's forbidden. A dark, brooding, and tattooed hero, everything up my alley. Definitely pick this one up. And thank you so much for her again for sponsoring this video. And that's all I have. Let me know what you've hauled recently or what you thought of all the books that I hauled. I would love to hear. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.